For our Mythbusters project, we took on a myth that questions of subliminal messages can have a casual effect on behavior. There are two ways to send subliminal messages. Visual relating to seeing and auditory relating to hearing. For those who don't know, subliminal means relating to things that influence your mind in a way that you don't notice. Is there an effect of subliminal messages in music on choice behavior? Eggerman and Copias conducted an experiment that dealt with this question. They used auditory subliminal stimulation to manipulate their subjects into behaving the way they wanted. Unfortunately, none of the observations led to the conclusive evidence on choice behavior being affected by subliminal messages. In an experiment testing the subliminal stimulation of advertising, a visual of a spoonful of rice was flashed at one-tenth of a second during a rice advertisement with the words Wonder Rice. Participants were tested on their ability to pick up on the brand name Wonder. However, the results indicated that subliminal presentation had no effect on participants' ability to recognize or associate a particular stimulus. Effectiveness of subliminal messages in television commercials. The goal was to develop a procedure in which it was possible to specify in every instance whether or not the subject was aware of the added information designed to be subliminal. For this experimenters had participants watch commercials and press a button anytime they think they were hit with a subliminal message. Benny's, Gutkin, and Decker tested the effects of mellow and frenetic music on reported cognitions resulting from auditory subliminal messages. After hearing different types of music masking subliminal messages, participants were asked to check words on a questionnaire that had eight stimulus words, eight related words, and eight irrelevant words to see if auditory subliminal stimuli had an effect on their cognitive imagery. However, the subliminal messages had no significant effect on their cognition. Based on all the evidence we gathered from the four sources, we arrived at the conclusion that subliminal messages have no effect on behavior. It doesn't matter if they are visual or auditory, subliminal messages do not affect someone's behavior.